Coming up in this week's video, why most people's New Year's resolutions are doomed to fail. Hey everybody, it's Harry Kalimnios here from thethoughtgym.com, here helping you become your superhuman self. A happy, happy, happy new year to you, and may you have a prosperous 2018. It's my first video of the year. Uh, I must admit, I have been a bit slack recently on the weekly videos, and that's really because I've been focusing on a few other areas of my life, and also, just not trying to get too caught up in having to do a video every single week. I, I think I put a lot of pressure on myself in 2013, 14, 15, 16, uh, even most of 17, and I've just been taking it a little bit easier, but you will still be getting regular videos from me. Anyway, in this week's video, what I wanted to share with you, because it's January, everyone is setting all these New Year's resolutions, and I wanted to share with you why really most of them are doomed to fail. See, I see it all the time. I go to the gym in January, the, the classes are packed, the gym floor is packed. By February, March, it's back to normal again. And uh, it's the same with diets or people doing their uh, veganery or their dry January, anything like that. They have these great intentions or they set a goals for the entire year. And quite often, they, um, they don't succeed. In fact, 80% of people that set goals will, will have failed by month three. And really, you know, you probably had an experience of this yourself. You set something first of January, like middle of January, end of January, you're kind of starting to wane and then you're back to it again. And then the next year you set another goal, another goal, another goal. And we get into these patterns. The reason I believe that people get into these patterns and they, they fail with their changes is simply because they're trying to change a behavior. Okay, they're trying to change behavior, but without addressing the mindset that goes behind that behavior. So unless you address the mindset first, you're most likely doomed to uh, not succeed in your endeavor because it's the mindset that drives the behavior. And this is the whole reason why my brand is called The Thought Gym, because I realized a long time ago that it's the thoughts, the, the, the mind that creates what, and what ends up happening. And you know, my slogan for my book was train the mind and the body will follow. Uh, train the mind and the rest will follow is a general slogan that I use because once you've trained the mind, it becomes easier to then do the rest. And in fact, uh, you know, people often ask me, you know, because I made massive changes around seven years ago in terms of my diet and it's not to do with willpower. It's not to do with discipline. It really isn't because I wouldn't be able to succeed if, I, if that was the case. It's really a shift in mindset, a shift in my identity, my beliefs, my values, what I perceive about you know, whether it's eating healthy or exercising or anything else, it's really how I think. And that is why I wrote the book, The Thought Gym. And I'd really love you, if you've not already got a copy of it, I'd really strongly encourage you to get a copy of it. I wrote it, uh, well I wrote it in 2011, released it in 2013. And it really takes you on a journey, like me as a companion to you, guiding you through understanding what are your motivations why really the, the big reason why that you're making that change because if you don't have a strong enough why you're not going to succeed from that to your values your beliefs around that subject what needs to change in that respect as well as how language affects how you execute on something because if for example you have to do something you're not going to want to do it but if you change your language to i get to do it it's going to be a massive shift i know this sounds really quite um trite and obvious maybe but you need to understand and address that. We also look at goal setting, we look at your identity as well. If you always perceive yourself to be a yo-yo dieter or whatever it is, then you're not gonna change. So we look at all of those aspects. It's very much an interactive book. Uh, you're gonna need a pen, you're gonna write in the book, and it will take you through changing your values, your beliefs, your identity, bringing a strong enough reason why, as well as creating a, a proper 13-step goal setting method that will help you succeed in getting your goal. So if you are someone, like many other people out there who have um, set a New Year's resolution, maybe it's the same one you set before in the past or you're, you really want to ensure your success this time, I strongly encourage you to grab a copy of The Thought Gym because like I say, if you train the mind, the rest will follow. That's it for this video. Uh, I just really wanted to shoot this out there because I see and I'm interacting with lots of people with all their New Year's resolutions and it really, I don't know, it makes me a bit sad when I feel like so many people don't succeed in their New Year's resolutions and it's really about addressing the mindset. So that's all for this week. Please do remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more great content that's gonna come your way in 2018. Until next time, remember, stay strong, stay super. Bye-bye.